Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add draw navigation to your Expo React Native apps. So you can see those minimum requirements there and then there's a few different packages you're going to need to install. So I'm just showing you how to install those now. I'm going to link the getting started um, in the description below so you can go ahead and install these different packages. Then I'm going to go to that draw navigation guide and I'm going to also link this in the description below because there's a few additional things you're going to need to install to get draw navigation working. So you're going to want to install that React Navigation drawer. And then we're also going to want to install React Native Gesture Handler, Handler and React Native Reanimated. So now we have pretty much everything installed so we can start adding a few pages that we want to include inside our app. So I'm going to have a home page and I'm also going to have a um, settings page and I'm just going to be able to navigate between them using the draw navigation. I'm going to keep these really simple. And I'm going to duplicate that for my settings page because I'm wanting a very simple app just to demonstrate the um, draw navigation. Cool, so those are my two pages and now if I go to my app.js that's where I'll set up my actual navigation. You can see that you need to import this create draw navigation and then you need to specify your draw navigation. So I'm just going to copy that across into my app. Now from within my actual component, app component, I'm just going to want to return my draw navigation. I'm going to need to import the different pages that I want to show as well. So the different components for the different pages. So I'm importing home and settings. So let me just copy and paste these across and adjust them to match my own screens. So now I've got my two screens specified and an initial route, which basically means that the home screen will be what shows when the user first loads up the app. I'm now going to start my Expo app. Once it loads, you can see an error, and the error is actually on reanimated, and it's because I haven't fully installed it correctly. Um, the fix for this is to go to your babel.config and specify that you're using this um, reanimated plugin. Now that I've made that change, if I go ahead and restart my app, it should work. So I'm still getting an error. 
you can sort of see this tried to asynchronously call anonymous function here. Um, it doesn't seem to relate to any of my code. So I'm going to do some research here and figure out the solution. So if you encounter that issue, what you're going to need to do is you're just going to need to stop your app and then restart it with the dash C command. That should just clear out things and make it run smoothly. Now that it's loaded, it's got no errors and I can open that draw navigation and click on it. You can see there's a header by default and you can actually control whether that exists. And you can add things like, um, like actions that people, you might want people to be able to do, like save or add. Um, the names that you specify is what shows in that actual drawer um, when you go to click on a screen to go to it. So it's useful to specify a name that um, matches with what your page is. You can see here there's a lot of different sort of properties you can set. Um, I'm just going to show you a few header related ones. One common thing which I like to do is I often don't like the default header so I often opt to hide it. So you can hide that either at the draw navigator level or on individual pages if you think individual pages might not need the header shown. So to do that you just specify the header shown option as false. And you can see there's no header shown for the home page now and if I were to go to the settings page there's no header shown there because I've got it at that draw level um, and I have to drag that drawer out from the side because it's not got that visibility because that is where it's showing the visibility for that um, drawer is actually available in the header. So now I'm going to show you it just being available on a single page. So you can see settings has a header um, but if I go to home there's no header because I've set header shown false against the home draw screen. There's a few other things you can do as well, like you might want to manually open or close the drawer or you might want to navigate to a screen on some particular action that the user performs rather than making them um, go to the drawer and navigate themselves. So I'm going to just show you how to do those things. So I'm going to use the use navigation hook from React Navigation Native. Basically what that does is it gives you a variable you can use to control the navigation. I'm going to import the button because I'm going to add a few buttons to allow the user to perform some actions. I have an open, a close, and a toggle button for the um, drawer. So open and close are pretty self-explanatory, and toggle just toggles um, between the open and close state, depending on whether it's opened or closed. So if it's open, it will close it. If it's closed, it will open it. Using that nav variable that I got from my use navigation hook, I can go ahead and open that drawer. And I can do the same thing for close and toggle.
there's also another um, navigation hook that you can use called Use Draw Status, which will en enable you to get what the draw status is. So you can see open opens, close would close if it was open. Toggle will open because it's closed. If I click check draw status, it says invalid hook call. Hooks can only be called inside the body of a function component. So I can't actually call it from within my button. Um, so I'm going to show you how to call that now. So I'm going to have a variable for draw status and I'm just going to use that use draw status hook and I'm just going to console log the value of that. I can remove that button. Now if I open up this console, I can click open and it will say open. When it closes, it will close, and when I toggle, it will say whether it's opened or closed. And you can sort of see it's logging that inside that console, and you can get the value of the draw status that way. Another thing you might want to do is navigate directly to a page. So maybe you want um, a game to finish, and then the user automatically is redirected to like a results page. Um, so uh, you can use that nav variable again, but this time we're just going to call this navigate function and you provide the named route. So our named route that we're going to navigate to is settings. So we're going to go to the settings page. So you can see I can click that button. It'll take me to the settings page. Um, and if I go back to home, I could click it again and it would just continue like that. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.